today we're going to repair one of the only things that tends to go out on these DW9000 pedals. After time, they tend to break or the, the screws break internally. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this one. We're going to find out once we um, take it apart. Let me show you the parts we're going to use. We're going to use the um, heavy duty hinge uh, for... It looks like it's for a 5,000, but the guys at the Pro Drum Shop told me that it'll work just the same and um, you save a little bit of money, uh, a little bit of money instead of getting this red one. Um, so we'll see. It looks a little different, so I'm a little, yeah, I, I'm a little concerned that it's going to work. Um, so we'll find out. Uh, so let's get this thing opened up. Always, when cutting, always cut away from you. A little uh, Boy Scout tip for you. Okay, so here's our hinge. Looks uh, looks pretty good, but it already looks like the holes aren't gonna line up. So, I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully those guys didn't steer me wrong. So let's get this thing off. Pick up your hinges. Um, this is the other reason why I like to use DW40, sometimes more than others may think is necessary, but this is my YouTube channel. So I say the more DW, more, more DW, more WD40, the better. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the other side. Yeah, so check that out. So that... That hinge. <laughs> you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it may not have been broken at all. It um, it might just be loose in there. Uh, so that's something that we'll kind of find out here. May have wasted some money on a new hinge, but I didn't even need it. But we're probably going to swap it out anyways, just because. Um, but that's interesting. These, those screws look like they're, they look like they're loose. And if you look on the other side, they're, um, they're just drilled right into this metal. So that, that's not good. That might be stripped out. Um, ooh. Yeah, so these just, um, just kind of coming out here. Uh, you can look at this pedal, this hinge. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it's stripped. The threads actually look good on there, so that's that's a good thing. <clears throat> but let's take a look at here. Um, gonna try to spin the. It feels gritty. Like there's some, uh, doesn't feel like a good, it's kind of sticking and this is like a nice hinge. So I think we're definitely going to replace this, um, no matter what, uh, cause I just, I don't like how that feels. Yeah. It's like snapping. So I think it's about time to get rid of this hinge. That's my, uh, diagnosis. So we got to get these screws out too. All right, so let's get these out. Ah, yeah, so don't strip these. Fuck. If you can avoid it. Uh, these, they have these little locking washers on them, and, uh, yeah, we might switch screw heads. I think we need a bigger screw head. Hold on. Oh, gosh. All right, guys, so here's the thing. We're going to try this kind of a fatter screw head. Uh, it's really... Mm, it's not really much different. Well, let's try it anyways. God damn it. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. All right, 
So the other cool thing about these screws is that they got this nice flat head, um, this nice flat head recess on it. So hopefully we can use like a flat head screwdriver and, and, and get it out that way. Um, at these times, I always like to do a little more DW40 just for fun. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. I'm going to give it 55%. Slightly better than a half chance that we're going to be able to get these out without having to resort to something a little more powerful. God damn it. Yeah, it's not even... Yeah, these are too fat. Too fat. Not in a good way. No, how do you get these off? Yeah, it's just walking them. All right, so let's try this one more time. A lot of downward pressure on it. Yeah. All right. We're going to try some vice grips on there. Okay. Mm. Hey, so um, we're going to try these needle nose vice grips to uh, see if we can extract this screw. So that's the other thing you don't want to have happen. Uh, we sheared the uh, we sheared the fucking screw off inside the hole. Point. Always have a backup pedal. <laughs> Everything looks fine here. We'll be able to do the gig. So I'm going to put this in my car right now. Okay. So we're going to get this other one out, hopefully without breaking it. And uh, yeah. Wish me luck. In our <laughs> Feels like it's broken. Yep. Right on. So now we have uh, got our hinge off. Now we have two uh, sheared off fucking screws inside of uh, our pedal hinge. Um, there's a couple ways to fix this. Uh, whew. And they both fucking suck. One way is to use a screw extractor, which is a special left hand threaded bit, and you screw into that, and then you screw it out um, to varying degrees of success. The other way would be to just drill it out completely and um, re tap it. Uh, I don't have a drill press, so that that way is probably out too. Um, the other way, you could chisel it out. Major pain. I don't even have a fucking vice here. Uh, you can... I might be able to grab that, that little nub. You could weld a nut to a rod. Get it out like that, maybe. Don't have a welding kit. So the other way is to just drill it out very carefully um, with a small, tiny little bit. And um, you could break it, but you could wreck the threads. But I'm probably going to just drill it out because, um, well, I don't really have too many other options. Right? Looks like the hinge will fit. Pro drum guys knew what they were talking about. Yep, that is gonna fit just fine. So what's the real difference? I don't really get it. I guess because they have fucking bearings or something in there. I guess. When you're drilling, especially with metal, especially with anything, gotta wear eye protection. Don't want anybody getting hurt. It's not worth it. Fixing your fucking 
pedal is not worth losing your ISO. Ooh, I see a little opportunity for some WD-40. Yeah. Now there's no stopping us. WD-40, a little tip for you guys. You can impress your dad. WD-40 stands for water displacement number 40. So they had a few other versions. And the 40th one. Well, we definitely drilled something. Yeah, yeah, we probably we probably completely fucked the threads, which uh, I was half expecting. All right, let's see if we can get this fucking thing in there. Boop, 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 boop. This is so fucking dumb. This is too big, but we're gonna try it anyways. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm gonna learn from my past mistake and just say fuck this. I'm not gonna use these because. If I break this off in there, yeah, it's not. That's not coming out. That's not coming out of there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to my original plan, which is to just drill this fucker completely out, and we're gonna stick a bolt through there, and um, and that's how we're gonna fix that. So I just need to make sure I just gotta get a little tiny bolt, a tiny bolt, and uh, we're gonna use this as a guide for our drilling. Um, so none of this is uh, really how you should do this because um, I just don't have a fucking goddamn machine shop. I wish I did. Um, I'm in a Los Angeles apartment, and uh, I'm pretty sure California, in all their infinite wisdom, made it illegal to, uh, you know, have workshops and shit. No, I'm just joking. They, they haven't yet. But um, there's just no fucking room. So anyways, we're going to drill this fucker out. So tired of dealing with this shit. So we need a little bigger drill bit. Let's see if we can just get through there. Ah, fuck. You know what? The problem is that, yep, and I know the bolts are going to hit our heels. So luckily I don't play heel down. Mm. All right. Mm. Does that work? Okay. Make sure we're still rolling for the magic. Magic, magic, magic. Okay, magic is rolling. Magic is rolling. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Uh, we're going about straight down. Mm, not exactly. Not exactly straight up and down. I don't think NASA would approve of my uh, my methods or my or my tools. But you know what? That's why I'm a drummer. Well, we're going as straight as we can. You know what? I'm just gonna have to do it visually. We'll do it live. Gotta give it a little extra business. Uh, this is okay. Oh. God damn it! I don't know what. thing there. Look at all that. Alright, let's get this other one out. Should be using a pilot hole, but I'm not. And that's what happens. You walk all over the fucking place. I'm gonna make a little pilot hole. <laughs> all right. Two holes in the fucking thing. That's all right. I think I just have sensitive electronics in here. All, all things that. Uh, Metal shavings are not good for. Here we go. 
God damn it. I like this drill, but it... Fuck, you really gotta crank it down. All right, let's see the damage. All right. Okay. Okay, so the true test will be if this these holes still line up. As we say in the biz, close enough. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, but we have a problem. We have a little piece of nastiness right there. Back to the workshop. I just have this little nub right here, and I gotta get rid of it. God damn it! Fucking stupid fucking thing. God damn it. Hmm. Kind of. Ah, uh, yeah. Stupid shit. Uh huh. Just a little nub. Little nub guy. Time to drill it out. Again, this is not how you should be using these fucking tools, but. Oh, uh, well. Fuck it over it. Motherfucker. Okay, that'll work. All right, guys, so new plan. I, uh, I drilled them out, I got holes on there, and uh, I got these screws that are pretty perfect for this. The only problem is that I don't have a drill to tap these holes, so what I'm gonna do, they're really tight as they are. Um, but I am going to use my favorite stuff in the whole world. I do not, what is this? I, I do not endorse this product, but uh, I use it all the time, Gorilla Glue. And I'm just gonna put some glue in there. We're just gonna glue the hell out of it. And um, <clears throat> if this ever breaks, uh, I'm gonna get a new one. I'm gonna put some in here, and then we're gonna clamp it down. Oh, man, it looks like it's off, but... Well, I think we'll have enough clearance. Clearance. Ah. Fucking Gorilla Glue. I gotta, I gotta finish this because I, I gotta meet my buddy, Sash Dog. Big ups, big shout out to Sasha. We're gonna go out to Sizzler. So I wanna fucking get this thing clamped and fucking drying. So then I can finish the rest of it when I get back. Ooh, look at that. There's a little bit of glue for you there. Yeah, we're gonna glue the shit out of there. Get it all on those threads. Yeah, you're gonna have to fucking break this shit apart. Be sure not to get it on the uh, fucking hinge itself. That would not be cool. <sighs> Okay, so we got some Gorilla Glue there. Uh, I'm gonna put some fucking tape to protect those threads. <clears throat> that is number one. No good for American Joe. If we get uh, fucking tape on, or if we get fucking glue on those threads, man. I do not want that. I do not want that at all. Yeah, so our hinge is protected. 
essentially. So, let's hammer this fucker down. <clears throat> Just poking through on the other side. I think we can get it a little tighter. I'm gonna take it on the concrete. This isn't hard enough. Hey guys, so yeah, I got this this hinge super tight, and um, I smashed the shit out of it. Uh, it's flat. It's on there, and um, oh dear lord. I think I might have found a problem. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, so my worst nightmare was confirmed. I put the, the hinge on upside down. Um, these fit together a certain way. And uh, I'm learning that now, so I'm glad we didn't let that glue set. Um, this hinge only goes one way, so one of them fits on that side, and the other one fits on that side, and this rounded part has to go up. That was my first cue, is that I messed it up. So uh, this is the correct way, and I'm gonna tape it down, and um, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put those pins through and glue it down, and, and then go get some sizzler. So where's my gorilla glue? Uh, let's protect the threads properly. Do not want glue on your hinge. There we go. So let's put some Gorilla Glue here. Not too much. Just a little bit. But I really want it in those in those uh, holes there. Okay. And let's get this going on. Uh, I'm gonna do a little on the threads there. Okay, I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna hammer these in. <clears throat> Okay, so I got the pins in, they're flush, uh, the glue is in there. Uh, I'm just gonna clamp it down, just to be safe, um, because this glue expands. So before I go to Sizzler, clamp it down. <clears throat> Our hinge is correct. Double check. Yep. Okay, we're good. We're gonna leave this. We're gonna go meet up with my buddy. All right, guys, so we're back. And just got done eating at Sizzler. It was my first time. Pretty awesome place. Um, they have a salad bar and pretty decent steak. So my hinge looks good. Um, we just have to reattach this pedal, pedal board. Um, and we're gonna do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna put just a little dab of glue on these threads. Um, ideally, we would use Loctite, but um, since I don't think I'm ever gonna take this apart, knock on wood, um, I don't think it's gonna matter, but I don't want these ever coming out. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna screw it down. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue in there. Just a little bit. You can see that. There you go. Always remember to recap your glue, or else you'll waste a few bottles of glue like I have. 
Okay, um, we got our screws and we got these nice locking washers on there. And we're gonna get them started. Okay. Looks like they're threading fine. Okay, I'm gonna um, tighten those with a hand screwdriver. Just because I don't want to bust any threads, and these are already pretty messed up. All right, those are pretty tight. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to leave this clamp on for a little bit. But it looks like our hinge is spinning. Looks pretty good to me. Look at that. And um, our, our thread job looks like it's not sticking out that much. It's pretty good. So now we can put it back on the pedal board. But um, like I said, I kind of want to keep that clamped for a little bit. So we're going to do something else for a little while and come back to this after about another hour of it sitting. So while we're waiting for that glue to harden, we're going to um, put a little oil on this, um, on, oh, look at that. Wow, it's got a little hose on it. That's cool. Um, put some oil on this bad boy because it hasn't been oiled in ever. So the parts where I think it needs it, um, I'm going to put it in the bearings. Don't need a lot. Uh, just a little bit. Get those bearings nice and oiled. Spin it so it kind of works itself in there. Basically, anywhere where there's metal and metal contact, a chain I think could just use a nice little bead of oil. Again, I'm, I'm using a lot. Never, never oiled it before, so. Yeah, okay, I think this glue is set enough. Let's just, let's just get this thing on here and be done with it. Okay, so let's remove our clamp. Look at our hinge, pretty good. And let's line up the holes and started. All right, so now let's reattach. And before I take this off, I, um, I marked where this thing went because uh, I want it to be exactly how it was. So now let's check it. Oh yeah, man, look at that. I was a little worried because it was when we had to do our little fix, we got a little bit off with the screws, but it looks like it's fine. And that is a fixed DW9000 pedal hinge. A little wider of a wider of an angle. There you go. Good as new. Hit the drum, sorry. All right, what's up guys? So it's uh, Tim from the Drummer Chronicles and uh, we're on a gig and um, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that the pedal hinge fix worked. Um, everything looks great. And uh, <clears throat> we're at this beautiful location. I think it's, uh, I think we're in Data Point. But um, 
anyways, uh, just wanted to check in and let you know that um, Pedal Fix worked and just to kind of show off this beautiful place. Um, super early. I haven't been up this early in months. And uh, I've got some coffee in me, and uh, that's all you can do sometimes. So I'm super stoked about that pedal hinge, man. It worked. So, all right, hit the drums hard. <laughs> 